11th person voted out and the fifth member of our jury. Jeffra. Jeffra, the tribe has spoken. that I made it 30 days, but I'd be lying if I didn't say I was disappointed to go home. To see your torch be put out is like the worst experience that you could want when you're playing the game of Survivor. It's kind of like taking a punch in the gut. I had it in my gut to switch and I didn't. And I should have last tribal and maybe Tony would be going home instead of me. <laughs> I was very blessed to make it 30 days, but at the same time, walking out hurt really, really bad. I was um, looking forward to getting my mom out here. She's a huge fan of the show and we watch together and she's my rock and every day while I've been out here, you know, I'm just reminding myself of the words of wisdom she taught me growing up and the things to keep me going to make it this far and now knowing that she, I've fallen short of that goal and she won't get to be here, it's a little bit upsetting, but it's part of the game. <laughs> hey Jeff, uh, Hi. So 118 to start? 118, yes. 110.3. I can smell myself. Do you know how disgusting <laughs> that is? Like up until about day 21 or so, like we all, like I'm sure we were stinking, but we didn't smell like we smell now. Like it's <laughs> disgusting. Coming to Ponderosa, you have no idea what to expect because the members of the jury look very stern during tribal council. They don't look like they're excited to see you. Yeah, Hi. Hi. Welcome. But they definitely welcomed me with open arms. I smell. Right. You don't want to get close right. to me. I smell really bad, y'all. I was a little weary of seeing LJ. I don't even want to hear it. I said the whole right here. I don't even want to hear what LJ's going to He's kind of like the big brother role, like they're going to scold you when they have to, and they're going to tell you like it is. Why did you girls not get together and just pull the trigger on those guys? I just was praying that she just took initiative and made a big move. You're just, you're caught up in the game and you make stupid decisions and I'm here. I was a little hesitant coming in and especially Jeremiah because I had basically been the reason that he went home last time. Had I flipped, we both would probably still be playing this game right now. Jeffra, I made an alliance with her. Maybe 30 minutes before tribal, she comes up to me and says, I screwed up. I told them everything. I'm going back to them. She said, you backstab me in the game. I'm just going to let you know to your face. I'm not going to blindside you. When did I ever backstab you? I wouldn't say backstab. Sorry, I'll take that back. That was probably the wrong word to use. I get voted out and the very next tribal, guess what happens? She gets voted out. I knew she was coming. Made a dumb mistake. Guess what? She's sitting upon the race with me. Is that safe? Yes. Oh my goodness. This little house. The food. Oh my Sorry. goodness. Where do I even begin? Food. I just want to cry right now. I mean, I kicked the salad to the side and went straight for the T-bone. Oh my gosh, y'all. I'm eating that, meat. Like, out. meat, meat. Uh. Man, it was like tasting a little bit of heaven worth every bite. Oh, my feet. These socks have been with me for 30 days. They're going in the garbage can. Oh, my God. When I looked in the mirror, my collarbones. I was in shock. Oh my gosh, I look like a 12 year old boy. I've lost all my boobs. <laughs> I've lost eight pounds. <gasps> Is this a joke? But my body looked like I had lost 20 pounds. Oh my gosh, I look like I stuck my finger in an electrical socket. <laughs> my eyebrows were grown together. My armpit hair was out of control. I knew I looked rough, but I didn't think it'd be this rough. Wow. So I felt disgusted and I was Totally shocked when I looked in the mirror. Getting in the shower for the first time. Thank you so much. This is my second full day here at Ponderosa. And every day you think of new things about the game that you wished you could have done differently. That's where I was hoping you were coming into play. You make that trying. one move. I was trying. I couldn't get anybody to go with me. You know, we have a lot of downtime here at Ponderosa. We have no internet access, no TV. So you have a lot of time to think. 
I'm proud of the game that I played. I gave it my all. Not one day did I wake up and not give it 110%. There are days when you want to quit, and there are days when you want to give up, and there are days when you think, I can't do this for 39 days. But because I had so much inner strength, I was able to pull from that and remind myself, like, you've been down in a valley before, and you came out, and you're just fine and all of the things that I've been through in my life, like surviving cervical cancer and the ups and downs with my father, left me a very real person on the inside, and that's the person that I tried to be while I was playing this game. And I already felt like coming into this game, I was a survivor in so many ways, just a survivor in life. To me, I felt like I won a million bucks just by getting here and surviving for 30 days.